My name is Erica Luna. And I'm Megan Harlan. And I'm Jessica Corona. We're aviation warfare specialist in the United States Navy. The helo we fly in is an MH-53 Echo. Our primary mission is mine countermeasures. My name is Melanie Molina, and I'm a master at arms in the United States Navy. The job I do, we're security for ships to make sure that they are safe throughout the waters. My name is Amanda Hodges, and I'm an aviation structural mechanic for the United States Navy. My job entails working on the hydraulic system so we can service it or also do patches on the skin, do metal work, riveting. It's very engaging, and it's hands-on, and you're never bored. I'd never shot a weapon before I joined the Navy. We have the 60, the 240, and the 50. They sent me to Crew Serve Weapons Instructor School. We teach you all different type of characteristics about the weapon. You have to know how the weapon works. There you go, get back on target, let's go! It's very empowering being a girl and keeping up with the guys. You're doing the same stuff that they are, and it's awesome. You know, you feel like everybody's watching, can she do it, can she cut it? And it's that pressure of making sure that you can handle it. You know, the first time I went on a carrier, I remember feeling like I never was standing in the right spot. But it was also the most exciting and visually entertaining experiences I think I've ever had. And that adrenaline will keep you awake, and it will keep you paying attention. You know, it's like a really messed up roller coaster ride. It's fun. They'll put you through a stress course. So while you're shooting a weapon, they'll yell at you. All right, go over reload. What are you doing? They'll throw links and brass on your on your helmet and forehead, and they'll like they'll make you really nervous. They do it on purpose because if you can do that in a stressful environment, you can do it in a regular environment. It's a lot of work. It's a big responsibility because there is no time to get it done. You know, we're out there. We have a job to do, and we need to get it done as safely as possible. We're making sure the bird's okay and doing our mission. A lot of people have a misconception that, oh, if I join the Navy, I'm gonna live on a boat. I am out to sea maybe one week every couple months, and, you know, if I'm not there, I'm here at my apartment. It's a pretty normal life, yes. I love instructing. I love teaching people. It's really cool for me to see somebody, like, once they get it. Engage the target, reload, and re-engage. All right, you ready? Come on. Pocket, it, shove it, safe it. There you go. I mostly like it because I feel like I'm giving my knowledge out. We can do all different types of stuff. Our helicopter's so versatile that we do humanitarian relief. That's honestly when I got the most fulfillment out of my job. Pre-Navy, I definitely bounced around with a lot of various jobs. The things I was most drawn to was those hands-on jobs. When I got out of high school, I kind of didn't really know what direction I was gonna take. If I wasn't in the Navy, I would probably just be doing the same thing, bouncing around from different jobs and, you know, trying to make enough money to survive. It's pretty physical, the missions that we do. It's a lot of work. It's totally worth yeah. it. It's worth <laughs> it. Like, oh my god, I'm, I'm flying in a helicopter right now. This is my job. It's so awesome. Like, I still get that excitement. To keep the balance, it's just really important not to forget where you came from and not forget that, yes, you're doing a male-dominated job, but I feel extremely confident that I can, you know, go out into the career field and do, you know, anything a man can do. I like kickboxing because um, it's a huge stress reliever. Going here is kind of like an escape. You get to hang around different people. It's an awesome workout. Makes me feel good. <laughs> I like to go shopping, get manicures, pedicures. We definitely hang out on the weekend, try to enjoy our free time. Having that feeling before the day starts, like, I'm going to fix something, it's just an amazing feeling. If any girl wants to become an aviation mechanic, I would say go for it. It's seriously one of the most incredible experiences I've had in my life. One reason I joined the Navy is I wanted to get out and I wanted to be independent. I definitely try to do anything that people Say that I can't do. Like if you tell me I can't do it, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna prove you wrong. No matter what anybody tells you, oh you can't do this, you're a girl, you're not strong enough, who cares what they say? If you wanna do something, you go for it and you do it. As long as you believe in yourself, you can you can pretty much do anything that you want.